thank you for joining us. In this next video segment, we're going to demonstrate to you uh, what a check valve failure is, uh, what's entailed with that, and how to repair a check valve failure on a Jenny air compressor. Uh, there are some symptoms that are associated with this. We're going to try to set up the failure for you to demonstrate what it actually sounds like, and then we will move on to show you how the repair is executed. Thank you. Okay. What we're going to do here is stage a uh, failure for you on a check valve. Uh, we've taken the check valve, which is located here on the back side on this pump. This is a G style pump located directly beneath the actual oil fill port. Uh, if we were working with a 8P style tank set on our K pumps, they're located directly at the base of the braided steel line on the actual tank set itself. Alright, and what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this compressor on and allow it to run up to pressure. There we go. Okay, the pump is pressurizing. We'll let this run up to pressure. Okay, pump's gone into constant run. I'm going to turn the power switch off. Now, as you can see, we have air running backwards out of the system at the base of the pressure switch. which indicates to us that we're not able to hold pressure inside of the tank and we're losing tank pressure. Now for those of you who can see there's a copper line here. This copper line comes from the other side of the air compressor here and that is our basically senses pressure at the pressure switch and lets the pressure switch know when it's time to shut off. But since the check valve is not sealing, now they, when the air compressor is shut off, it's actually back feeding through the system to the pressure switch itself. Coming out right here out of the base of the pressure switch. Right out the side here. Here on the side. Okay. We're going to let this drain down and then I'm going to show you how to remove the check valve. 